this video let us look at phallets tetralogy tetra means what four right so some four problems are there here okay so basically this is a congenital heart disease so by birth this person can have this uh, problem so it is uh, very common it is and it is found in about 10 percent of children with anomalies of heart you will find this anomaly okay what are the four features four features are Basically, there is a ventricular septal defect. So, if this is the ventricle and this is the ventricle and this is the septa of the ventricle. So, ventricular septa, if this, there is a defect in this because of which you can see the blood loss thing is ventricular septal defect. Okay, this is a shunt. A shunt is going to be there. Okay, next, displacement of the iota to the right so that it overrides the VSD. So, basically, where is the iota? So, we are talking about the iota here. This is the iota which is carrying the oxygenated blood. So, it is red color. So, here you can see this is the iota, right? So, this iota is displaced to the right. This iota is displaced to the right so that it can override the VSD. So, there is displacement of the iota to the right. So, the iota is displaced to the right, okay? So, let's look at this. The next thing you are writing here is iota displaced to right to override the VSD. Okay, then the first thing is the VSD because of VSD only all these other things are there. Pulmonary stenosis, obstruction of the pulmonary stenosis. Where is pulmonary stenosis? They marked it here. Pulmonary stenosis means this is the pulmonary artery. Correct? So, pulmonary artery is getting compressed. So, you can see there is stenosis of the pulmonary iota so here you can see pulmonary stenosis so why why is that happening iota is moving to the right so pulmonary stenosis okay then let us talk about the fourth point that is the tetra right so fourth point is right ventricular hypertrophy right ventricular hypertrophy See, basically what is happening, it's not difficult to understand. Now that this, there is pulmonary stenosis, when there is pulmonary stenosis, this has to pump harder to send the blood to the lung. The right ventricle has to pump harder. So, there is light right ventricular hypertrophy. You can see the muscle of the right ventricle is very, very huge. So, it has undergone hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is increasing size. Okay. And uh, because of this ventricular septal defect, there is aortic displacement to the right. So, to override this ventricular septal defect, iota is moving to the right, correct? And then the, because of this, there is pulmonary stenosis, right? And then you can see right ventricular hypertrophy. So, that is phallets tetralogy. Now, here they are saying again, there are two types. They are saying there is cyanotic tetralogy and there is a cyanotic tetralogy two types they are saying is this clear cyanotic tetralogy and acyanotic tetralogy in acyanotic tetralogy vsd is larger in cyanotic tetralogy the vsd is not that large but the stenosis pulmonary stenosis is more okay so did you understand this so basically in cyanotic tetralogy the pulmonary stenosis is more and in acyanotic tetralogy, the VSD is more. So basically, if uh, pulmonary stenosis is more, what will happen? It is not able to push the blood into the pulmonary system. So what will happen? There is more right to left flow. So more right to left flow, right? It's trying to push the blood, but there is pulmonary stenosis here. It's not able to push the blood. So its blood would rather go like this. So more right to left shunt. Then uh, let us see what happens in this acyanotic tetralogy. Acyanotic tetralogy, the ventricular septal defect is large. So there can be left to right shunt also in this. Okay. This is pretty clear, right? Acyanotic means what will happen? Acyanotic means this defect is more. As the defect is more, the oxygenated blood will come here and it will anyways go for oxygenation to the lung. So here it is acyanotic. You will not see that much cyanosis. But whenever there is a right to left shunt, what will happen when there is a right to left shunt? The deoxygenated blood will come into systemic circulation because of which there will be cyanosis. So you can very easily say that in cyanotic tetralogy, right to left will be there. This is very clear, right? Cyanotic, right to left. So the deoxygenated blood will go to the systemic circulation because of pulmonary stenosis.
Now here if pulmonary stenosis is there, what will happen? The left atrium and the left ventricle also will be very small because the return from the lungs will be less. Okay. So here you can make another point. Left atrium and left ventricle are small. It's pretty clear, right? Is that difficult to understand? Because less blood is going to the pulmonary system when it returns from the lungs, when it returns from the lungs, there is less oxygen coming from the lungs into the uh, left atrium and the left ventricle. So this part has to work less. So there is smaller left atrium and left ventricle. Similarly, now as left side has become small, what you will you see? Right side will be big. Right atrium and right ventricle will have hypertrophy. Is this clear guys? The cyanotic one? Okay. Now let us see the acyanotic uh, tetralogy. What you understand in this acyanotic tetralogy? So basically, let's remove this uh, shunt word from here. Let's uh, write it here only. Basically, here there is left to right shunt. So here also, the blood as it is flowing from the left side to the right side, the right side has to pump, it has it has to process more. As it has to process more, there is going to be right atrium and right ventricle will have hypertrophy. It's clear, pretty clear, right? What Are you understanding something here that... VST is definitely there, but whether it is right to left or left to right, they are deciding in these, whether it is cyanotic or acyanotic. So the right to left or left to right is being decided here, guys, not here. So it's wrong to put it in the phallus uh, tetralogy four points. You should not put that uh, right to left or left to right. Let's decide it here. So basically in acyanotic tetralogy, what is there? From left to right, blood is flowing. So the oxygenated blood only is coming here. So this is fine. Uh, there is no cyanosis here. But again, right atrium has to work more, right ventricle has to work more. So there's hypertrophy of the right atrium, right ventricle. Same thing here also, same hypertrophy of right side. Right side is always hypertrophy. So in the phallus tetralogy, four points, right ventricular hypertrophy, definitely, that is definite. VST is definite, okay. Pulmonary stenosis also is definite. So basically, all these four points are definite. The thing is, how much uh, of VSD, how much of pulmonary stenosis decides whether it's going from right to left or left to right. Now here what happens, <clears throat> as the blood is flowing from the left to the right side, right? Left to right it is flowing. So definitely pulmonary stenosis is also less. They are saying VSD only is more. So more blood will go to the pulmonary circulation. If more blood goes to pulmonary circulation, what will happen? There will be more return to the left side of the heart. So again, there is left side also hypertrophy is there. <clears throat> here left side also hypertrophy is there. So both are hypertrophied in this acyanotic one, both are hypertrophied. So is this clear guys? So in acyanotic, both are hypertrophied. In cyanotic, only right side is hypertrophic. So right side hypertrophy is it's pakka for phallic tetralogy. Guys, you should understand here that uh, there are a lot of things about the valves also. What happens to the valves? The aortic orifice will increase, right? The aortic orifice will enlarge. This is standard. In everything you will see this aortic orifice would have enlarged. All this you can write, okay? So about the valves, I think you should read more from the textbook. To be uh, very simply telling you, here in the cyanotic tetralogy, the uh, tricuspid valve will be abnormal. The right side uh, heart uh, tricuspid valve will be abnormal. In acyanotic, the mitral valve will be enlarged. Anyways, please read that information from the textbook, okay? You have understood phallus tetralogy, right?